Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be reviewing Legacy United Lyo Convoy. Let's look at articulation. So, as you can see, he can do a nice little kick forward and kick backwards. He can kick to the side. You gotta fix his legs sometimes. Knee bend. You got a ankle tilt. Um, and this is mostly for transformation, but you can do this. So you can have... I'm only doing it on one foot, but you can have this abomination. Um, you have elbow articulation. You can spin his arm. You can do a bend at the elbow. You can do a this, which is it's his fun little gimmick. Um, you can do this. You can go out or backwards and forwards. The lion head does get in the way a little bit, but I'm not. I don't care. Uh, same with the lion butt. Uh, head is on a ball joint, so you can do the swivel, swivel, swivel. And you can do a little secret. And you can do that. You can open his matrix chamber. Details wise, well, he's just a, a black recolor of Lyo Convoy, but he does have some lion eyes, and his head is pretty detailed. You can see that he has blue eyes instead of yellow. The matrix chamber is pretty, it's fairly detailed and painted. It's kind of got texture. Um, but, let's get into gun details. So, we have this gun. It's pretty good. It looks like a, a, a standard rifle. And you can pull it apart and turn it into two little SMGs. Which is neato. You have this gun. It's pretty small, a little side gun, but you can plug it. You can plug it into his arm. Be careful though; these things can get lost pretty, pretty, pretty easily. Then you have these two guns. These are on five millimeter ports. I'm not taking them out because I had to put them. Cause they are in the the top of the lion head, you know, so I can flip them in, flip them out. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes they get stuck, but sometimes it does work. Um, you got to put them in a specific way. Um, so yeah. Well, let's get into transformation. <coughs> so first off, let's uh, flip these in for now. Uh, so, for starters, you're going to want to open his chest up, just like that. You're going to want to flip his head in, and you're going to want to put your fingernail in here, and twist this around to make the lion's stomach. <coughs> Then you're going to want to take this back section. Uh, oh, well, first you're going to want to flip his hands in. You're going to want to take his hands, flip them in. You know, you don't want them getting in the way. So you're going to want to flip them like so. Okay. Then you're going to want to take this out and then. You're going to want to rotate this to take some trial and error, though. But eventually, you will be able to rotate it. <coughs> uh, if you would like, you can flip his legs down. 
uh, right now. I'll do it in a minute. You can you want to do this with his back. And this, this part, you're going to want to try and, it should slide in, or slide right here. Now make his neck part. Okay, then, you're going to want to, flip his arms around, do a little something like, this and then you're gonna wanna kinda oh okay I gotta rotate it again you know sometimes it's a bit iffy but You're going to want to shove this right here, you know, and you're going to shove that there. Um, you're going to want to do the same for the other side. Let's see. Now there is a peg in here, but really you just kind of want to mush the flipping arm until it fits. Uh, but when it does fit, that's really it. And then you're gonna peg these two chest pieces together. Uh, then you're going to take these leg pieces, and since they're, you're going to want to, since they're on ball joints, you're going to want to, like, maneuver them to look like this. <coughs> not trying to be vague here, but this is really the instructions, essentially. Flip his fur down, you know, to cover that empty space okay then you got your lion you're gonna wanna oh make sure to flip the tail out from this before you transform it then for the legs you wanna flip it backwards and then twist the legs like that so it should look about like that same with the other leg That's pretty tough. Alright, yes. flip the tail back out. Flip these legs <coughs> out, you know. legs and boom you got your lion but remember you can also do the funny gimmick you can do it in lion mode it's a bit harder I'm not gonna show it off you've already seen it but let's just say it looks goofy oh gotta flip these heels in 
I always keep forgetting to do that. But yeah, there's the lion. Pose ability, not the best. You can kick his front arms slash legs forward. Back legs, you can kind of move out, kind of move back, kind not really move forward. And you got an ankle tilt. So you can technically do this, which kind of just looks like he's peeing. Um... <laughs> <coughs> that's funny still right i'm gonna assume that's a yes um oh no and for size comparison with some other animals here he is with grimmy boy here he is with Cheetah Boy. Here he is. With Bug Boy. And here he is. With other Bug Boy. You can barely see him because of Grimlock. He's very tall. <coughs> there is Bug Boy. You still can't really see him. Uh, you can kind of see him now, hopefully. Yeah, you can see him. Okay. But there is the scaling. We shall remove the animals. Because we must end this video thank you so much for watching my video on legacy united nemesis leo convoy or clone convoy thank you so much for watching peace out bye